folks, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Today we're going to be docking with a uh, module I'm not really familiar with. Um, let's see, it is a like compartmental fuselage airplane docking clamp. I'm not really familiar with that at all. Not even tried it, so this ought to be interesting. I'm going to be using my new Dragonfly design, which is a VTOL plane, and uh, we're taking it to space for fun. Why not? Um, I'm still working on perfecting my designs for space planes launching from uh, launching from the uh, runway, but um, for the most part, uh, this will basically serve the same kind of purpose. Um, I am noticing there's a couple things funky here, so I'm going to fix that. These fuel lines are a little weird. Um, oh no, I don't want that. I want um, all the fuel to transfer from here to here. And why are you attaching to my plane, good sir? <laughs> what is going on? Remove, remove. Okay, let's just do one at a time quick all right so anyway uh yeah this is my VTOL plane called the uh doritos aka dl um dragonfly um i don't remember where i've seen this type of design before with the way the the engines are orientated but um i have seen it somewhere else before and just uh from memory i kind of tried to recreate it um so i like the design a lot it's kind of bulky but I just think it looks cool. It looks kind of sci-fi-ish and neat. So, um, okay, that should be good. We'll find out, of course, when we test our flight here and have an explosion or not. So let me save that, and we're gonna launch. Um, all right. So the way it usually works for me is I like to wait for the space station to come around. Something else is in orbit there. Oh, that must have been from my test flight. The, the Dragonfly. It's actually in a pretty good orbit. Alright, so we are waiting for our target to come up. Um, just about overhead, really, to be completely honest. So... Yeah. And then we're going to go for a little bit more of a shallow orbit versus the space station so oh slow speed down all right full throttle fine tune controls on and uh, here we go okay i have some atomics on here um they're gonna use i'm gonna use those for kind of getting in closer within a couple of clicks of the space station and then we're going to uh, probably just use RCS after that to really get in there. But like I said, it's a very uh, unusual design and it has a opening um, docking clamp on the top, which is something I'm really, really not familiar with. And it should be kind of interesting to test out and see how it goes. So, are you... Uh, something seems weird here. I don't know. We'll find out here when we stage the stage before we start our turn go turn done I'm sorry staging done let's turn now Too much come on baby get over there there we go something like that is good uh, all right we are gonna do approximately like 140 or so what we're gonna do are these engines firing oh my god the atomics are firing Wow, why are you firing? Shut down engine, please. Thank you. Jeez, some people. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. I put them in the same sequence. Hmm, unusual. Most unusual. Okay, so, um, real quick, what I'm going to do is I want to see what that debris was. Was I testing the staging? I don't 
do, 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 do. probe. Um, let's fly this really quick. What is this thing? Is this a piece of it? Okay, this is a piece of it. Huh. Alright, well, we can end that flight. I don't want any confusion here. Let's go back to the Space Center. And, um, let's get back to our ship. The Dragonfly. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to use MechJeb for a few things. Um, ordinarily, I don't like using it on my YouTube, but for wow, see, yeah, you can see, you got some problems here. Got some problems. Um, man, I should really align orbits first, shouldn't I? I don't know. I don't know when's the best point to align, but. Anyway, um, yeah, I like using MechJeb for docking, um, just to allow me to make sure I have enough fuel and things to complete a proper uh, docking procedure. Um, did I shut up the other engine too? Activate engine. And okay, we're good. We're good. All right, we're gonna circulate in the 140s, and then we're gonna align our. It probably would be better to align the orbit now, right? But we need to we need to actually get in orbit, so like align our planes. Cause our plane is whack <laughs> right now. Just saying. Just saying. Set target. Yeah, pretty whack. Alright, I'm gonna hit one. Maybe in the one thirties I will uh hmm. No, let's wait. Let's wait. What's our app? Apple app, 143. Hmm, high 130s. I'm gonna start to circulate. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do here. 135. Good enough. Good enough. That'll allow some coasting time for maneuvering. Okay, double mainsails should make quick work of this orbit, and then we have to align our planes. So yeah, I didn't come up exactly smooth enough here. We have a funky orbit. I'm using avionics over uh, SAS, so it's kind of interesting. Okay, um, it's almost done. Hang on, I want to actually abort it really quick. Shut these down. Shut this down. Shut that down. And I want to activate. I can't see anything in that. Map. Activate engine. And activate engine. Okay, now we're running on just the uh, the nuclear. <clears throat> Excuse me, the nuclear. I was going to set up some action groups or try and get the action groups to work, but apparently I messed up the staging. So, all right, we're going to try some nuclear. We are rocking a uh, 140 by one, oh, no, 88. We're going to catch the space station quick, really quick. Let's circulate this and see if we can get this to work with the atomics not run out of fuel. Um, how is our fuel consumption looking here? We're at 800. Okay. Luckily these engines are really really efficient. So we should get some more. We should have plenty enough fuel to complete this whole docking procedure I'd say. I mean look how efficient that is. That is amazing. So that's one reason why I designed this rocket like this, is so we can use the mainsails for some things. But then once we got into space, you really don't need mainsails as much. These atomics and the ability to switch between them is very convenient. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to rendezvous with our target. We are going to align our orbits and um, it will warp us to that point where it needs to align, which is probably going to be right around here, I'd say. Let's see what it's going to do. Right around here. 
Yep, looks like it. So in about 30 seconds, it's going to align our orbits. And we're going to go from there. Um, we're at uh, 139 by 139, so and we're behind it. So we're going to catch it pretty quickly, which is fantastico. And we're going to have about 800 to 750 units of uh, liquid fuel left for our atomic engines. And uh, we'll be set up to try and dock this, this plane. This dock this plane at our space station, which is going to be weird. Weird to see a plane, but still pretty cool. I think it's going to look neat. All right. Um, let's see here. Ooh, it's really taking a minute to bring in our... Uh, our plane and no alignment here. <laughs> but it should be enough. It should be enough fuel. There's our information we need. Closest approaches. Very cool. Very cool. All right. 276 kilometers. Whew. Using a lot more fuel than I anticipated for this for this run, for this burn. But So we're going to have another 22 seconds to finish this. 19 seconds now. We have 600 units of fuel, liquid fuel. You can see the control surfaces on the plane trying to maneuver, which is great. <laughs> like, thanks game. 10 seconds left on this burn. Almost there. <laughs> wow, we used a lot more fuel than I thought. What I thought. Almost there. Okay, so longer than 10 seconds. That's it. Okay, cool. Alright, guys. And this is at 139 by 144 now. Okay, that's still faster. So we're probably going to have a closest approach over there by our app. By our app, oh app. Um, so Mech Jeb's job is done. It's all up to me now. All up to me. So I am going to take a short break. We are 300,000 meters apart and gaining. And uh, when we return, we'll be uh, getting a little bit closer. So see you guys in a few. Alright guys, we are back and I am doing a little retro burn right here, or right next to the space station. And then we're going to be trying to get closer to it, so... Just trying to kill some speed here. Okay, now I'm going to point towards it, and we're going to burn towards it. We're about 14 thousand meters out, 14 kilometers. Um, yeah, we're doing good. Doing good. I'm gonna try and get this locked on more. 
the station here. And we're getting closer and we have 500 units of fuel left, so great. Fantastic. Alright. Pretty much locked onto the station. We are cruising fast now. Okay, we can get out of this mode here. Turn our lights on. And uh, let's deploy our external panel. It hopefully won't clip through the... Uh, probably will. Let's not do that yet. <laughs> on second thought, let's retract that back in. Yeah. Probably going to snap off. Okay, so yeah, we're gaining. We are burning towards the station. We are using the atomic engines. We still have 550 units left. We're cruising. Cruising, cruising. All right, can I speed this up at all? Hmm. I don't know if I could. Let's see. Oh, I can. Fantastic. So I'm not seeing here. See here. I want to um, burn retro really quick. We're getting further away again, and I want to correct that. So we're going to burn retro with these atomic engines, bleed off our speed, and uh, burn towards our target again. towards the station again. Alright, there we go. We're lining up perfectly again. Plenty of fuel for this. Alright. Looking good, guys. Looking really, 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 really good. We got a good speed going. I'm going to pull it up a little bit. A little bit higher. See if we can get that pro grade marker inside the uh, target marker there. Okay. Should be pretty quick. is spin this puppy. Actually are um, using a lot of energy here. Electrical 
so I'm gonna kill the lights for right now. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna um, spin this puppy around, and we're going to uh, get lined up for a retro burn. Okay, 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 okay. Hold, please. Hold. Thank you, sir. One point two. That's pretty good. Eleven hundred meters. Trying to kill it, man. Kill that speed. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry. We are so close. Come on, man. Help me out. Help me out. Oh crap. Oh crap. Something just happened. We just ran out of fuel. We're in kind of a spin. Stop, 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 stop. Luckily, we don't have that much speed. So we're still pretty close, but I need to get control of this thing. Come on, man. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. You can do it. All right, all right, we're good, we're good. Deploying in three, two, one. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whew! Alright. Alright, we are 900 meters out, guys. I'm gonna switch to RCS now. Um, I need to find my retrograde is on the other end of things. Yeah. Alright, we're kind of uh, nimble here. RCS on. Okay, 0, 0.0. Alright guys, we are going to start a burn towards the station now. And the sun is out. Just fantastic. Fantastic for docking. Okay, let's lock this puppy on. Lights on, RCS on, and let's burn towards it. Here we go. All right, there we go. Looking good. I have our deployable solar um, panel set up just to absorb more sun to make sure we have enough lights to dock. Um, I have a very special spotlight right above our docking um, docking clamp. This is going to be interesting, guys. <laughs> to say the very least. I'm going to try something here now. You can see our...
prograde marker is on the other side of our station. So I want to try just try something here. If I just lock this in on the other side and burn this way, does it actually pull it in because of the two points? Oh my god, it does. That is slick. Slick, slick. Very cool. Very cool. All right, we are cruising, guys. 7.2 meters per second towards our target. It's a very unusual sight, I'm sure, in space. <laughs> it, all, it really does look like a spaceship, though, kind of, you know? Looks pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm just gonna get set up right on our prograde marker and I'm gonna lock that in and then we're gonna burn backwards in a second. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna blow right by this thing, you know? So I'm hitting N to thrust forward. Trying to kill that speed. There's our gorgeous space station. Okay. We are 200 meters out, guys. 200 meters. I'll target the space station once again, and uh, we'll go for another run. Let's, let's try this again. Let me let me pull up a little bit from it. Target that, and then we burn that way. Oh, look at it! Just lock right in, dude. It's amazing. It's so amazing when that when a plan comes together. So basically we are headed right for it now. That's so cute. So cool. I like it. All right, 200 meters. I'm not sure where we want to dock at. Maybe on top. Let's get a little bit closer, we'll slow down, and then we'll figure out where we want to actually try this docking procedure and how we're going to go for it. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's going to be a hot mess, I'm sure. Let's get within, what do you say, uh, 100 meters, and then we'll kind of pick a place we want to go to. Maybe on the bottom, then we just come over, open it, and then thrust up and try and dock that way. Could be the way to go. Could be. <laughs> All right. Um, approaching 100 meters. This is getting much bigger now. Okay, let's start a retro burn here. RCS on and boom. Slowing her down. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Let's try for underneath. Okay. Let's try for this bottom one. If I can click it. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Oh, snap. Okay. So what we're going to do now is I am going to aim under it.
aim under that docking port ever so slightly and we are going to RCS towards that. Now rather than um, I'm going to try and get that prograde mark underneath that marker. So I'm going to go left a little bit here. We just learn this. Thrust a little bit more just to line it up. And boom. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, we're coming in kind of fast, actually. Wow. Okay. We're coming in kind of fast. Okay, I'm gonna um, slow us down some here. All right. Um, how do I want to do this? I want to try and kill all speed right now. All right, 0, 0.0 is what we're at. Um, all right, guys, so here we go. We are going to go in for a docking uh, position on the bottom here. And, uh, yeah, we'll be right back after this, okay? Okay, um, what do we need to do? We need to get this open, toggle this. All right, we're open and ready. Ready to dock. I'm going to have to make some small adjustments as we go. I'm also going to have to kill this because I could run into it and snap it off. Attract panels. Hopefully we have enough juice and are getting enough sun on the other exterior panels to keep us fully uh, energized. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to be kind of quiet probably <laughs> during a lot of this. Um, try, just trying to line it up, guys. Line it up real good. Looks like we're going to be a little bit right. So what I'm going to do now is activate RCS and do a little puff to the right here. Okay. Getting some light on this bad boy. All right, let's kill our speed here. I'm selecting the right one, correct? Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the one I want to go for. All right, here we go. Another another pulse towards it, guys. Here we go.
It's pretty close already. I'm gonna keep cruising forward. And we're gonna mash this up here in a second here. I'm hoping the uh, magnets will connect. It looks like it's going to, yeah. Just trying to get it lined up just right first before we let it do its magic. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we did it. Woohoo! First try out. Nice, guys. Very cool. Wow, it was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, not trying to be cocky or anything, but yeah. It's pretty awesome, dude. Pretty damn awesome. Um, can I... Uh, it's kind of awkward because this thing is getting so massive here. Can I actually deploy this thing? Well, we're fine on power, aren't we? Oh my god, yeah, we're so good. <laughs> but man, that looks great. Looks great. And uh, yeah, that's the Doritos Locos Dragonfly Mark One. What a silly name. But it's a VTOL craft, and I wanted to try docking to test out that clamp, so uh, very cool, guys. All right, that will do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, like I said before, in the Duna mission, really hope MapSat gets sorted. Otherwise, we'll just have our own fun kind of like this and uh, goof around with uh, Kerbal building some, some cool stuff. But um, hopefully we'll be back on the Easter egg hunt soon, guys, with the new, uh, the new uh, patch release. So until next time uh, guys take care and uh, have a good one enjoy uh, Kerbal Space <laughs>